back to all this math. This is Professor Parker, and now we're doing a little bit of algebra. We have an equation up here. We're going to solve for x. Our equation is 3x plus 2 is equal to 4x minus 1, and we want to solve for x. Now, I want to talk about this method called transposing. Now, what is transposing? Transposing is essentially when you just pick numbers up and just move them to other sides of the equal sign. See, our equal sign is right here. The equal sign divides the equation into a left side and a right side, right? I got an x term on the left side. I got an x term on the right side. But the equation is essentially neater and easier to work with if all your x's are organized together and all your constants, because 2 is a constant and negative 1 is a constant. Why they're called constants? Because they're never going to be anything but that number. They're constantly going to be that number. So if all our constants are on one side and all our variables, which are x's, are on the other side. So basically what we're going to do is I'm going to take this 4x, move it over to the other side. That's called transposing. And I'm going to take this 2, move it over to the, other, to the right side. And that's transposing again. So now I rewrite the equation, 3x. Now another thing though, when you transpose, the sign of that term must change. So this positive 4x on the right side, when it moves to the other side or gets transposed, now it becomes negative. So now we have 3x minus 4x. Bring the equal sign down, and this 2 gets moved over, right? Now you could write the negative 1 first, or you write the negative 1 second, it doesn't matter. I'm going to write the negative 1 first, because it was a minus 1 right here, right? So it's still a minus 1 which is a negative one. When I move the positive two to the right side, now it becomes negative two. So now I have minus two. Now why is transposing helpful? Because when it, transposing is helpful because once you have the same types of terms together on one side of the equation, you can do something that we call combined like terms, right? So now we have three X take away four X. How many X's are we left with? We got three of them. You take away four of them. You're left with negative one of them. So negative X. And on the right side, we got negative 1 take away 2. Negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3. And we're almost done. Because remember, we're not trying to solve for negative x. We're trying to solve for x, which is positive x. So how do we get rid of this negative sign? Something I want you to understand. This negative sign actually represents a negative 1. Negative x really means negative 1x. All right? So we need to get rid of this negative 1. So in order to get rid of negative 1, we have to do the opposite operation. What does negative 1x mean? Negative 1x means that we're doing negative 1 times x. So this represents multiplication. So the opposite of multiplying is dividing. So that's what we're going to do. Because we want, when we want to get rid of something in algebra, we do the opposite operation. So we divide by negative 1, but if we do it on the left side, we also need to do it on the right side in order to keep everything balanced. So negative x divided by negative 1 leaves us with just positive x. And on the right side, negative 3 divided by negative 1 leaves us with positive 3. And that's our answer, and that's today's lesson.